I'm in Best Buy in a couple months. And I still haven't gotten over it. This is where the movie section was. So many memories. Some of these toys, though, are actually kind of cool. Like, look. That's a cool crank figure. I hope it's not 55 bucks, but... I remember seeing some of these a couple years ago. I didn't think that... Is they had all these different other... Uh, the Ninja Turtles with different monsters. There's the Mummy. There's, I think, the Invisible Man. The Wolf Man. Bride of Frankenstein. I've never seen Casey Jones as the Phantom before. not too bad 25 26 bucks for that there's Barbie I think I still have Ken I should probably get this and sell it at Comic Con next that's a possibility that's kind of cool Banjo Kazooie I wonder how much they want for that probably 25 maybe Alrighty, so I just got out of Best Buy. That was actually my first trip to Best Buy in a couple of months, ever since they got rid of the movie section. Uh, I miss that place, but they, they do still have some stuff in there that I probably would get, like those toys. And, you know, I do have the, I do have the podcast on the other channel, so maybe down the road I'll get better equipment to put for that. But, um, but yeah, that was my first time going in there in a long time. So, uh, so we got a busy day today. Of course, we're going to go see the new movie, If, from John Krasinski. The new Amy Winehouse biopic comes out today. Back to Black. And uh, but first, before we do anything else, we gotta go to Barnes and Noble to see what kind of new releases they got this week. Doom Part Two came out this week, so did My Adventures with Superman. Busy day, so let's continue our journey. How you doing today, George? All right, on to our next stop for the day, and that is of course Barnes and Noble. Let's go inside, see what they got in there. And of course we got the Dune section here because Dune Part 2 is officially out on Blu-ray and DVD today. Well, this week actually, but there it is right up there. And we got the 4K here as well. There's the DVD. I am going to get this, but I'm going to wait for the Steelbook. I know there's a couple Steelbooks out there from Walmart and Amazon. I'm going to see if I can wait on those. Hopefully get them at a good price. So I'm not going to pick this up today. I really, I really did like this movie a lot, though. I thought it was better than the first one. I thought it did a good job of exploring the, expanding the wolf in the first film. So yeah, I am going to get this at some point. It's not going to be today, though. Now the Mill Creek title they have it in here, I, Robot. Which I actually don't remember if I own this on Blu-ray or not. I have to double check. I see one of the other new releases this week, Imaginary. Which I heard a lot of terrible things about, so I won't be checking that out anytime soon. Nor should I have checked out this film, but... Alright, so there was nothing in Barnes & Noble. They didn't have My Adventures with Superman, but like I said, with Doom Part 2, I'm going to wait to see if I can get the Steelbook for it. I know Walmart has an exclusive one, but also Amazon has one too. Uh, just got to go to Walmart next time and see if they got it, but that, that's what I'm waiting for on Doom Part 2. I, that's why I didn't get it, so... I don't have too much more time left, but I'm going to run over to JCPenney real quick and get a shirt that I've been kind of buying the last couple of week, months, and with the movie coming out next week... Might as well go ahead and get it. And there it is. How you doing today, George? Got a big card show going on here. And not the big one that's over at the convention center, but... I'll save that for tomorrow, because I'm going over there with my dad and my uncle. Alright, let's head to the movie theater. We got If, followed by Back to Black.
almost tripped. <laughs> Thought about going to see that, but it's been a while since I've been down to this theater. Now we play the waiting game. Definitely can't wait to check that one out. Definitely can't wait to not check that one out. Okay, let's get out of here. What's up, Jeffrey? And just like that, we're back home. A very, very long day per usual. Uh, two notable films I saw today. I saw If, which I really liked, and uh, Back to Black, which um, I liked one thing about it, but everything else I thought was complete garbage. But what, what were those things? We're going to have to watch my review. I'm going to actually record it tonight because I have an event I'm going to tomorrow, that Mainline Autographs show tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to do, it, do the video tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to do it tonight, and then I'll post it tomorrow afternoon. So it'll still come out around the same time I usually put the episodes of talking about the movies out, but it's just going to be recorded tonight. So if you're going to ask, so that anyone asks why it's the, the light the light is on, it's because I'm recording it at midnight, probably past midnight tonight, but... Um, I uh, didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but in the mail, I did get one new release that I was really, really looking forward to finally getting my hands on, and I have it right here. I finally got One for the Heart on 4K, the new f re restoration of Francis Ford Coppola's movie from the 80s with uh, Terry Gard, Frederick Forrest. I've talked about this movie so many times. I think it's a criminally underrated film. It's got this. It's finally out on Blu-ray, a prestigious-looking but prestigious-looking set here. Uh, just a really, really good movie. You have Terry Gard and Frederick Forrest. They're a couple that break up during 4th of July, and they go out for a night on the town. They end up meeting different people. Nastasha Kinski, Raul Julia, also Harry Dean Stanton is also in this as well. Coppola made a lot of great underrated films in the 1980s. This is definitely one of his best ones. Um, so I got this. It came out a couple weeks ago, and it does have the Blu-ray and the 4K in here, and it uh, does not have the digital, but... Um, I might get the digital because uh, I'll talk about that next week once the other ver once the thing I'm talking about comes. But I'm a little disappointed because I I don't have a 4K player. I just have a regular Blu-ray player. And as you can see right here, the restoration, the reprised version of this is only on the 4K, and the Blu-ray is the one that just has the regular c cut of the movie, which I'm a little bummed out about. But um, once I get that digital copy, I should be able to watch it in any way, shape, or form. But I hate when they do that. I hate when they put the, the version I want to see on a, on a format that I don't have. But this is the only way you can get this on Blu-ray. But um, it's one you should definitely check out. Definitely one of Francis Ford Coppola's most underrated movies. Uh, but other than that, I got that Garfield shirt from J.C. Penney. And that was pretty much about it. And, um... Yeah, nothing much more to say, honestly. So that's going to wrap this episode of uh, Movie Stop Up. And uh, tomorrow, of course, I go to the Mainline Autograph Show. And then I'll have my, and I'll have my review for uh, If and Back to Black on um, on uh, tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow afternoon. Which, again, I'm going to record tonight. But um, uh, I'm probably not going to the mall next week. And probably will not go see the Garfield movie in Furiosa until the week after that. Because... We, I might be going to the Pirates baseball game next Saturday for my uh, brother-in-law's birthday. So uh, you'll still get to see a movie stop episode, but it just won't be me seeing the two new movies of the week. So, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And um, if you like what you saw and you want to see more videos like this, uh, check out some of the other videos I've done. Hit the like and subscribe button. And um, excuse me. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care.